Okay, the battery died. Looks kind of neat, especially right here. On the back, too. But anyway, uh, so this is this is what I have so far, and it sort of moves. I kind of messed up when I did that part there, but oh well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really have to move. So that's what I have so far on the tail. Now, now I'm deciding if I want to do that or leave it off and I think my vote is to leave it off and I kind of like the way it's looking right now so now I'm debating whether or not to do this after all Trying to decide if I want this over top or not. I like it either way. But I think I'm going to go with leaving it like this today. I might make another one eventually. It has a different coloring. Why is that one still out? I don't remember. Okay, now I think I only have one. Pretty sure I only have one of these black ones, but it should be enough if I decide that I want it on there. Oh, maybe that's what that was for. So that it would match that a little bit more. Thing is that the scales don't really have... I mean, the fins don't really have scales. They are different. Okay, I'm going to decide no on the red bit. It might be a yes for the black here. Hold on. <sighs> Come on, you cooperate. Mm. I don't know. What do you think? I don't think so. Oh, that's extremely pretty. But it doesn't go all the way up. I believe I only have one black one. Oh, I don't know. Do I like it enough to do it? Because I could use the other side for the part up there. I think it looks better when it's doubled up. So I'll be right back. Okay. I confirmed that I do only have one of these. Oh man, it looks so good though. I only have one black one. And it looks best when it's doubled up like that. When it's when it's single, it's 
It's good, but not as good. <sighs> I think I'm gonna go for it. It's too pretty not to do it. Maybe what I can do is double it up part way and only do it like this. Let's do it that way. Okay. Are you still heated up enough? So while that's doing that, since I'm putting black there, I'm going to do some black lines on here if this will let me. doesn't usually give me trouble but I just get paint for the pencil and stuff and the corrugate itself doesn't doesn't like to cooperate either. Okay maybe I need to use I'll use, if I can get it, uh, I'll use this black marker that's old and doesn't really matter if it gets ruined. That's better. So anyway, I don't think you need to watch me do all of that. And you don't need to watch me do all of this either because it's just the same kind of thing where I'm just gluing it down with the hot glue. So I'll be back. Okay, I just want to see if you can see what it's doing here because it's neat looking it's fun to watch it do it so you see here where it's kind of and if I put see it shrivels and it's neat looking anyway so that's how it looks. There's a little bit of a gap here, but I kind of like it. Okay, so next step. Oh, right, I didn't finish. I didn't finish the fins, so I'll be back.
same story with this marker, but it, it has a little bit more juice in it, so ink, what is it called? Is it is it ink in marker? Anyway, whatever. It's a little, it's got a little bit more oomph to it, so I'll do that. And I'll let it dry just a little bit before I put another thing of Wink of Stella. There we go, that's better. It's still too wet for the Wink of Stella, but still do this part. Uh, so I made lines before because I had it on there before. I made lines on the bread with my black marker but now it still stands out too much. So I'm going to use my red sharpie to do that. And it probably still stands out too much, but... It's good enough. That's a good marker, but... Just that little bit won't hurt it too badly, I don't think. Hmm. Now I need to decide if I want it like that. Or. There's all kinds of decisions in this project. Or like that. Hmm. Normally, I would prefer it this way, but in this case, I think it looks better on top. I can't decide. Maybe one on top and one on the bottom? Hmm. No. I think it's best if they're both the same way. Okay, I'm gonna do it this way. I think. Yeah, I think so. I think it's ready for the wink of Stella. I'm gonna try to put the bread as soon as I get one underneath here. So that it's mostly hidden away. Mm. 
easier said than done. Okay, there's nothing I can do about the color or the rest of the brads, but I'm going to say it's okay. Because it's, it's an art doll, so there you go. They do stand out more than I want them to, but... Actually, maybe I can do something. Yeah, that'll help. Not quite so noticeable. way looks best. Probably on top. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure I'm not going to put them in yet. I just remembered uh, an important de detail, but I will do this part so that it can dry. It's better. It's not quite as noticeable that way. Okay. If I were being really professional about it, I would mix this color again and do the whole thing up, but make it match, I mean. But I'm not going to do that. Okay, now.
she had another black piece. And I don't. Oh well, it'll do. Probably going to cause interference with the arms, but oh well. What's left is to attach the hair, which is going to be made with yarn. And the yeah, arms should be okay if I put that on loosely. Now, I've got to decide the length. That's probably good. So I've got these three colors for her hair that I plan to mix. I don't know how much battery life I have left and it's if I could finish my thought then I might not run out of battery before I want to say before I say what I want to say. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to loop it and cut it and glue it with the glue with the glue gun on her head and I'll have some pictures when she's finished. Okay, so it's a little bit like when you're getting ready to make pom poms. Sort of or something. So I'm just gonna I just made a mess. I'm just going to alter the colors and keep doing this until I think there's enough. And I might use a a comb. I might might use this to comb it. We'll see. I haven't decided yet. Okay, I'm going to say that's enough. It probably isn't, but I'm going to say it is. Tie it off here as tightly as possible. And then cut this part. Trim the bottom a little bit. 
Mm, maybe not. I'm gonna leave it. Leave it ragged. And then I'm gonna see if this actually works. Not really doing anything. If I had the right type of If I had the right type of uh, comb, it would help make it look more like hair. So I'm going to work on it for a while. See if I can get it to do anything. And if not, it'll just be the way it is now. And it'll just be glued on like that. <laughs> 